Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be creating my own version of this poster using Superman 4 The Quest for Peace as inspiration. I ran across this poster on Pinterest, thought it was really cool, and I just thought, hey, I'll show you guys how it's done. While also at the same time using Superman 4 as inspiration, which... Can Superman 4 even be inspiring for anything? Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling and let's go ahead and make this poster. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator, and this is where we're going to do the majority of the structure, and then we'll finish up the effects in Photoshop. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this black background right here, and let's go ahead and color sample from the actual background color of the poster, which I think is really cool. So basically, you know, I've just full disclosure, this is not my poster design at all. I cannot take credit for this. Um, I don't even know if it is really technically a poster, <laughs> but I just really thought that the design itself was cool and I just wanted to kind of make my own version of it. I'm not gonna be selling it or anything like that. I'm not gonna be taking any kind of credit for it, but I just, I just thought it was a cool design. And I just figured I'd show you guys how to make it. All right, so um, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to just kind of lay down a couple of elements here. And then we can worry about color here in just a few minutes. But um, w when I saw this, when I saw this, um, when I saw this poster, the first thing I thought was, wow, that's a really cool poster. And then, of course, I also thought about I thought about it in terms of color. And um, and it was probably just because um, I happened to be watching uh, the Christopher Reeve Superman movies right now with my daughter. And um, so when I first saw this, I was like, oh, that would be a cool like Superman four poster advertising nuclear man. So um, it's not necessarily that I recommend Superman four, uh, the quest for peace. Uh, but if you grew up in the 80s, you know, and, and really more importantly, if you grew up watching the movie, then, you know, you, you definitely have some kind of appre appreciation for it. But at the same time, I also recognize that the that the movie has a lot of flaws. <laughs> so a lot of flaws. But I, I do. I, I've always thought the nuclear man was a was a cool villain, even if it even if it wasn't executed you know, the best way possible. So uh, anyway, so enough babbling. Uh, let's go ahead and color both of these. So I'm gonna go up here to window, grab the gradient tool. And as you can see, I've already been just kind of playing around with this uh, a little bit, but I just wanted to start from scratch. All right, so now um, I'm gonna change the direction of this and I'm actually going to, let's see. One second, let me zoom out so I can kind of get my bearings here a little bit. And we are going to see edit the gradient. There we go. That's what I was looking for, and for some reason couldn't find it. Alright, so now we're just gonna drag this up to here and then go uh, around here. I don't know why this is not cooper cooperating with me. I want to rotate it, and for some reason I'm not able to rotate it. Okay, there we go, just need to rotate the shape, perfect. Okay, so as you can see right here, the bottom left uh, corner is um, it, like, it actually has that little bit of a white going on here. So I'm just gonna rotate to where that is gonna be in that area. And then we'll do the same thing here, rotate this. First first thing I'll do is I'll get it straight, you know, like get, get it rotated straight and then just kind of slightly rotate it here. So, but, those don't actually match each other, so I'll probably do something kind of like this, okay? All right, so now um, it's just it's just those two uh, shapes that we have to worry about. So now let's go ahead and just drop down our text. And the font that I'm using is Quincy CF. It's this uh, Adobe font right here. I, th I thought it was really cool when I saw it. Um, I've actually never used this font before, so let's go in and just kind of check out what this font is all about. Um, I like the fact that it's a little bit of a lighter weight uh, going on here, so I'm going to try that out. Um, I actually do really like this a lot. Um, one thing I did notice about this font that they're using in this poster is that they've got like, you know, it, it is a little bit more of a condensed uh, version. I'll see if I can match that same look, um, you know, but I don't want to wait. I'm doing the wrong thing here. <laughs> um, I'll see if I can match that uh, match that same look. Um, without distorting this text too much and also without making it look um, dated as much as possible. All right, so I think 90% will be uh, will be good for that. Uh, for that. All right, so let's see. Let's do something like this. Basically, I'm just going to kind of lay down a couple of different things. This isn't, this isn't going to be like a fully 
you know, fully fleshed out designed uh, poster or anything like that. It's really just going to be, you know, just kind of emulating um, the poster as much as possible. So the tagline, oh, that cue is very nice. The tagline for Superman 4 is the quest for peace. So we'll do that and we'll probably do that. Um, yeah, half the size right there. And just kind of line this up right here. When you're uh, when you're doing uh, this kind of typographic typographic layout, it's very you know it's very in it's very interesting. It's very important to make sure that you've got plenty of balance uh, between all of your all of your elements, and make sure that your spacing is good, and make sure that your sizing is um, you know like is is within like a, ter a, a type of a certain type of scale. So you know just kind of remember that and keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. I'd like to do something maybe like um, let's look up the release date for the movie. Superman 4, Quest for Peace. As you can see, it's got a full 3.7 out of 10 stars on IMDb. <laughs> so uh, it's quite uh, quite a movie. If uh, you know if you if you grew up with it, you probably love it. Um, if you didn't grow up with it and you try to go watch it, then I, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> All right, so we'll do this. It's interesting that it was a summer movie. I don't think I realized that, but it, I don't know. It's not necessarily surprising to me. Um, but anyway, so uh, right here, the main text, we've got 170 point, and then it goes down to 85. And then I also did the half for that as well, 42 and a half um, for, uh, for the release date uh, type right here. So I think for the release date, I'll just kind of stick it uh, probably around this area, two inches in on both sides. And um, as far as the type goes, we need to have some type that's going in this area right here so we can uh, we can certainly drop the cast members. So we'll grab something like this. Christopher Reeve. Um, and then I think I'm probably going to do like maybe divided by one and a half. And I think I'll just grab like the main characters right here and I'll put this all in the same text box so that way we can easily control the uh, letting from that point I'm actually wondering if it would, if it would just be faster for me to type these <laughs> alright so Jackie Cooper and let's see um, uh, yeah let's go ahead and include Mark McClory. He's not really one of the main characters in this one, uh, but we do have, uh, like, th this does have a big cast, but we're just going to go to about right here. So um, I'll, I'll in include John Cryer. We'll do that as well. We'll just kind of make it look like it's a, it's a really big spectacle movie event. How about that? <laughs> so Mark Pillow and then Mariel Hemingway. And just for the heck of it, just because my video, my rules, um, I'll highlight Mark Pillow's name and we'll make his orange because he's nuclear man. <laughs> All right. So we'll just kind of move this right here. Align this to the left. That did not work out the way I wanted it to. I'm using a different mouse today. I'm not quite used to using this mouse. Okay. So we'll do this right here and then see a I just want to make sure I get the spelling correct here we go let's right click the director get his name Sydney J Fury film okay and then we'll just color no, sorry we'll just size match that right there minus two inches in and then we'll space these right here I think that looks good right there or we could overlap it like this and just kind of line up that baseline right there um, and then maybe up, uh, up here let's see let's put let's see if we can find a quote let's see if we can find not uh, like a, a quote that's not too cheesy that can that can like kind of stand on its own and be on the poster um, let's see I I do like this quote, and from what I remember, I think it's paraphrased by, um, oh, it's one of our presidents. It may have been, may have been Truman. I think that it, I think that it was 
paraphrase by that, but anyway. So let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, huh. Maybe that one. Nobody wants war. I just want to keep the threat alive. <laughs> I mean, I do think that that is a good line. Okay. All right, there we go. It's a good line for uh, for a villain like Lex Luthor. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is, um, you know, like obviously this is just kind of the the overall. You know, like the overall idea of, of what we're going for and everything but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab both of these circles copy them and we're gonna go straight into Photoshop and apply those effects all right so here I am in Photoshop we're gonna drop these in as smart objects right here and then I'm going to size these back up to hundred percent so that I can get the scaling and the positioning correct I'm also gonna drop down um, let's see guides new guide layout here we go Did they move that I think they may have moved that in the last update I don't remember it being um, inside there so anyway doesn't really matter all right so let's go ahead and drop our solid color background which is probably about like this I can go in here and grab the actual hex uh, hex color though okay that's right, I already dropped that in there. Perfect, all right, so I just kind of lighten it up a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our blur. Let's get rid of our guides. Blur and Gaussian blur, that's what I'm gonna use for that. Um, the 300 is a little bit heavy. I think maybe 200 should do it. And this isn't necessarily to say that this is how this designer did it. I don't know how they did it. They probably did it this way, um, but you know, there's there's all kinds of ways to blur things. Okay. Oops. So now let's make sure that this is nice and lined up. All right, perfect. So here it is, and uh, I think that just for a finishing touch, I'm going to add a little bit of grain so that we can get a little bit of a texture going on here. <clears throat> And okay, so this must have updated the last time that I used it. All right, so the size, roughness, we'll just keep it around 50, I think, and then just apply that and then go down to maybe overlay, something like that. Okay, all right, I think that looks cool. While I'm in here, I can still change this. Okay, so this, uh, I actually do like this better. So it's soft light uh, right here. But the really cool thing about this is, and that, like, you know, once you've got it all together, if you want to go in and change the colors, of this, all you have to do is just uh, make sure that you've got your the, the color layer. Um, or actually, I'm going to go up to here, and that way we can affect the entire thing. So if we wanted to do like a series of you know character posters or something like that, you could have one that's orange like this for Nuclear Man, and you could also just have one that's blue, and you could also go in and change the background um, color as well. Of course, that's going to affect the color for everything. So what you would do is you would, you would apply it just to this right here. Of course, that's applying it just to the, uh, the typography there. So just kind of go right over here. That's a really cool effect right there. So the blue and the red right there. And then of course you could take this hue and saturation and change that to like a, a yellow or something like that or you could just go back and you know change uh, change this uh, uh, change the text to all white but you know you've got you've got all kinds of options there so I'm gonna delete both of these just so it's not too distracting for what we're doing and I'm just gonna go back to our hex value that we had before for the background but it just shows you all the different things that you can do uh, for it and then also one of the things that I've done in the past uh, to make sure that the uh, the text is kind of blending in uh, with the background of the poster is to give it like a slight uh, Gaussian blur, maybe like three pixels or something like that. That way, once you see it up close, as you can see right here, it's not clean. It's not super sharp, clean text. that's just sitting on top of a poster. It looks like it's actually part of the poster. And if you wanted to take it one step further, double click on your on your vector smart object and select everything. In this case, we'll just we'll just affect the the color uh, everywhere. Bring it down to about 90% white instead of 100% white. Go back into Photoshop, and you'll see uh, 
here that, that those effects that we added, those grain effects, are actually being applied to the text as well. So it's all part of the same part, all part of the same poster design. So anyway, so I'm uh, enough babbling there. So here it is, my Superman 4, the quest for peace, um, blurred lines, or sorry, blurred circles uh, poster, and the colors right here and everything are meant to represent the villain, Nuclear Man. Uh, so anyway, I love this movie. This is a really cool poster uh, for it and everything, you know, just kind of signifying the sun. Um, but anyway, enough babbling. I hope you enjoyed that, and I also hope you learned something. So if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe, and also click the bell for notifications to be notified of all new content. And also, thank you so much for subscribing. It really helps me out when you do that. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.